I'm Patrick Byers, Horticulture Field Specialist with the University of Missouri Extension, and I'll be discussing lavender essential oil distillation. There are lots of value-added products that can be made from your lavender crop. Dried lavender, uh, various types of bouquets, etc. But a very interesting product that can be developed from lavender is the essential oil. And then that essential oil can be used in a variety of products, cosmetics, culinary uses, and, and other uses. For lavender essential oil distillation, the first step is to harvest the lavender. And the glands that contain the essential oil are found on the calyxes of the flowers. And the optimum time to harvest is when about two thirds of the flowers have, have dropped their petals. So there'll still be some blossoms present, but the lower part of the flower spike will have dropped its petals. And the blossoms can be harvested then and uh, bundled up. Now for the purposes of our video, we're going to be working with dried lavender that was harvested uh, last summer. But typically the fresh blossoms would be used for the essential oil distillation. Harvest the blossoms early in the day. The essential oil content will be the highest at that point. If you wait till later in the day, especially on a warm day, the yield of essential oil will be lower. Make sure that the blossoms are dry. And again, harvest them in bundles and take them to the area where we're going to do the distillation. This is an example of an apparatus that can be used for lavender essential oil distillation. It's a two vessel unit. The first vessel contains boiling water. That water turns into steam, moves through the piping into the second vessel. And in the second vessel, we have the lavender plant material. The steam will contact the plant material. The mixture of essential oil and steam will then move up into the column. It moves from the column into the condensing unit. Cold water circulates through the condensing unit. Here's the entry point, here's the exit point, and the mixture of steam and volatilized essential oil will then condense. We'll then move into our collection vessel and we'll see a separation of essential oil. And at this point, the water essential oil mixture that's called hydrosol. Both the hydrosol and the essential oil are useful products. And so they can again be collected and then used for various value added products. The first step in distillation is to prepare the uh, distillation apparatus, which we have done. The next step is to place the plant material in the second vessel. And we'll place our, our dried lavender stems into the vessel. We wanna pack the vessel, but not too tightly. We need to allow for the movement of steam throughout the plant.